Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. In case if you are new to this channel, means please please subscribe to our channel. Well, in this video, we are going to see a Windows 11 new update on the build 22.616. So as usual, in this Windows 11 build 22.616 also, so that is a no watermark. Like uh, whenever you are actually using the Windows 11 preview version, you will see a watermark at the bottom right side. But uh, in this build also, there is no watermark. And the one more thing is that in the previous build, the system tray has been hidden. But now in this build 22.616, the system tray is again comes back. So you can able to use the system tray and all the icons in the system tray. And you can also uh, arrange the icons as per your wish like that. So the system tray option and the other function is actually working seamlessly good. And one more thing is that this Windows 11 build 22.616 is actually available for both Windows 11 beta and the sellers for the developer version so in the insider settings it is actually available for both the developer channel and beta channel so this build is for both the channel only in case if you want to switch over from your developer channel to beta channel means so this is the right time just to click on the beta channel and leave it as it is and after that wait for some time you will receive a update so once you receive the update you will be moved back to the beta channel because windows is frequently reminding that so if you want to go back to the beta channel means you want to go back now or else you never go back to the beta version you will be always in the developer version only and in case if you want to go to the beta version means you need to be install a clean version of the windows 11 and all your backup will be deleted so that is the one thing so that's why windows is actually frequently reminding in case if you want to go back to beta means so this is the right time and in case if you are wish to in the developer version means so leave it as it is there is no action you need to do well on the new updates as you seen here the main important thing i have noticed that uh, so in this windows 11 build 22616 the windows 11 taskbar is actually the size has been increased so as you seen here the size of the taskbar has been increased in the previous build itself uh, so windows has actually added some of the group policies in the group editor so that itself you can able to find some of the things like uh, just to go to the edit group policy section and that you can able to find uh, uh, and that just to go to the administrative templates and go for the start menu on the taskbar here is a some of the options like prevent users from resizing the taskbar so they are actually working on the resizing the taskbar in the upcoming updates so in the future update we can manually able to resize the windows 11 taskbar so this is a preview of that i think so it is not a final update and it's not a bug like that they are actually working on the taskbar resizing so that is the thing that's why I get this Windows 11 taskbar in the increased size and also the taskbar icon size is also increased and in case if you are also a Windows 11 developer version means let me know whether your Windows 11 taskbar size is also increased or this. not and the next update is that in this Windows 11 build 22616 the preview version of the controller bar feature has been enabled in case if you are using the Xbox controller means so whenever you are pressing that Xbox key you will get that a controller preview so in the keyboard also there is a shortcut just to press the windows plus g shortcut key and after that you will see that uh, xbox game bar controller so in this xbox game bar controller so you can able to do some of the things like uh, for example you can capture the screen and you can able to screen record and one more thing is that uh, so right from the xbox controller itself just to press the xbox key and once you press that you will see this controller so using the controller itself you can able to access the recently played games like that and also there is a more widget menu also you can uh, choose any of the widgets menu so it's a completely uh, features for a gamers in case if you are a gamer means and if you are using xbox controller means in this windows lawn build 22616 you can able to access this preview of that uh, xbox controller menu so right from the controller itself you can able to access the controller and you can able to play the recently played game using this controller bar feature and the next update is that so this update is actually comes at the previous build 22.610 itself the update is new personalization in the task manager so in the windows 11 task manager so in the processes section so as you seen here you will get a different uh, background colors it is completely depends upon the uh, what ascent color you are actually using and now i am just to go to the settings option so once you go to the settings option and that just to go to the personalization and after that go to the colors and here is the 
Asan color. So now, now presently the Asan color is in the green color. So if I am change the Asan colors to blue means then this task manager processes section is also changes to blue. And as well as the Asan color will actually changes in all sides like a task bar and then this notification area and as well as this start menu. So in terms of customization and personalization, Windows 11 is actually improving better and better. So this customization really looks good. So what is the Asan color you are choosing? Previously the taskbar color, start menu color and the notification color will be changed. Now in addition to that task manager processes section background color will also change based on the what Asan color you are giving. So these are the some of the good things in the new Windows 11 build 22616. So this build is not actually having a more interesting features but the one thing you need to notify is that so Windows is actually working on the increasing the taskbar size manually. So in this build I have the increased taskbar size. So in case if you are a Windows 11 developer version means so after you install whether you also noticed this Windows 11 taskbar size increased or not let me know in the comment section below and that's it for today video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel means subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching this video guys.